Yep, just I thought it's a Darkrai versus Garchomp. It's a very interesting matchup. SKDL, of course, running Garchomp has a lot of high damage, uh, a lot of high damage outputs in dual phase, but Paper Suck has really wanted to keep it in field as long as possible with Darkrai, uh, racking up some really great damage over in field phase. So we'll see if SKDL is able to break through it all, throw out some pockets in here to try to break through some of the projectiles and gets in with a Dragon Rush and goes straight in for the grab. This is going to hit the wall and do a ton of damage. This is exactly what SKDL needed to really step up at the beginning part of the game and really make Paper uh, run from behind the entire set. So Paper is able to get the phase change there on the Sand Tomb attempt and setting up the hands. It's able to hit and get, gets the Dark Void, so going into Nightmare mode, becoming insanely more powerful. Setting up the Nets, the Garchomp can't jump in. SKDL running in with a 2x. And it goes for the jump and it's going to get the wall. Face shift saving paper there from a lot of damage and could have been the round. Quagsire coming out. And also the Winter guy coming out. It's Quagsire, shoot, paper stack running to the Quagsire spot, not able to get there, and Neskidale going for the regular grab to end the round. It's a very interesting support of Quagsire here, as they, I think, kind of going more for like the chip, the chip damage setups. Uh, just really trying to make sure that Paper is getting up into the round and keeping it in field a little bit more. So if Dale can't sit back in camp and wait for his option, he has to approach or get chipped by Quagsire. So Paper resetting the face shift points there in field to try to keep it in there a little bit longer. Dale able to break the shield actually. He goes for the release X, so he's going in aggro, trying to get the face shift on Darkrai before going into nightmare mode. Is he getting hit by Quagstar? This is exactly what I was talking about. Just not letting him camp, not letting him hang back. But he is going to pull out the burst. The red armor is kicking in, and we get a full burst confirm here out of Dale. Paper said in about half health, that was the first hit of the round actually for Dale was the synergy versus attack. Interesting. Uh, paper setting up the decoy and then going for the nasty plot and is able to get nightmare mode. And this is going to be a com this is going to be a combo. Nope, dropping in at the end. Gets another nasty plot starter and then actually just ends up going for the grab it to get the phase change. See, so Paper in a really great spot. And SKDL pulling out the Whimsicott to try to mitigate some of these traps. Can okay, Paper push herself back out? She CADCs through the earthquake and then brings up the hands from the dev for, from the ground and is able to get Dale and we'll just finish it off. Goes into nightmare mode. Release access should end it. Oh, missed times the grab. Very unfortunate for Paper. That would have ended the round, but it has to spend the burst to get Garchomp away. That was very unfortunate for Paper. Cause it's a Dale having Dale able to rush in and bring this game back. Now sitting still at 1 HP, 5 seconds to remain. Paper needs to get away, but it's able just to go in for the homing attack. It's a great job by Dale there, once again, fighting back, making Paper spend her burst. So she has no, barely any resources going into this round. Goes for the full charge, able to break through the CA. But Paper answering with a CA of her own and get a full combo, no just frame on it. Sets up the net. Ton of damage coming there by Dale. Bread and butter by Garchomp. And it's gonna get hit with the Santa and will this end it? No. So paper still fighting fighting doesn't have very many resources left, but it hits the sand tomb. It's a great job there by Dale like turn really turning up the offense and being very hyper aggressive with Darkrai, which I feel is how you really have to play the matchup. Uh, you can't let them drag the long you can't let them drag the match on. Can't let them set up nightmare mode. You have to really get in their face, get it, and get it quickly, and really try to end the rounds as fast as possible. All right, game number two here. Starting off pretty similar. Paper Sack able to get nightmare mode right at the beginning, going into dual phase. See how she can capitalize. Just sitting back there, camping in the corner, gets a confirm but misses it. Just out of range with the nasty fly, goes for the 8A and, or 8Y and is able to get it. Misses the confirm again there, but goes for the mix-up grab. Just 
go into phase change. And on this end, we'll actually end her nightmare mode. So uh, I would like to see her keep keep nightmare mode a little bit longer because that's where most of her damage output's going to come from. But she's able to get it here again, so not too much gone. Goes for the 2x or 2i. I'm not sure which one it is, to be honest. Escadale taking to the skies with the release X. And Paper failing threat and goes for the burst. We just got coming out. And that actually does take away a lot of the follow up of Dark Ride's moves. No just frame there on the punches. Quagsire coming out getting some good chip. See, and this, is this a punish? It is not a punish. Can Dale punish? No, he cannot. But Paper able to get it with the rope a dope. Alright, round number two here between these two. Going for the Earthquake. Actually, Paper going for the CA DC backwards, but it still gets caught by the Dragon Rush. Great. I like the attempt by Dale there to actually uh, Stone Inch through the Quagsire. I think that's a pretty neat option, especially with uh, Garchomp's new buff that he is invulnerable if he goes for the Sand Tomb. So, I think that was a nice attempt. Didn't work out, but I like the effort. Ideal going for the full CA. Paper able to confirm and get the Dark Void. Alright, Winsicott coming out, but it does not affect anything with Nasty Plot. Paper trying to set up the Oki of the Dark Void. Not sure if that works. 8x coming out. See, I'm not sure on the movement here. Uh, there's a lot of movement options that I'm very curious on with Dark Rai. Uh, going up in the air and then instantly going back down. Uh, doesn't seem great in the matchup, but... Pocket Sand coming out for the phase shift, now allowing Paper to get into Nightmare Mode. Release X coming out with full bread and butter combos, it's going to do a ton of damage. Still keeps her in phase. Great patience there by Paper, and had to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, and she guessed right. That's the thing with the Garchomp matchup is if you can, you have to mitigate it as much as possible and not let them play Rock, Paper, Scissors with you. You need to take yourself out of those situations as much as you can. Let's see Darkrai pulling out the burst as well. Release X coming out for the punish. And Gale's really been opting for that 5x Oki uh, to really get a lot of his combo starters and this might actually be it. Are we going to see a burst attempt here to try to end it? Yep. Uh, release X for the ender. Yep. It's a great job by both players there. Of course, Paper bringing out the Darkrai in tournament. Always great to see new characters.